What's up YouTube, Cosmo here with five tips on future bass pop production. Today we are gonna to be looking at my song, People Change, so let's hear a little bit of that. Tip number one, change the LFO of your main synth for drop two in order to change the vibe there. Let's hear the vibe of the first drop. Compared to the second drop. So my main synth here is, is triggering at a quarter note for the first drop. We've got some multiband, some Haas effect, EQ, OTT. For one of these drops, I'm going to turn on this rack, which is going to turn on distortion, more sidechain, and some add some EQ. Let's hear that. Gonna give it a more aggressive vibe for there. But for drop two, I'm gonna make a whole new track. I'm gonna put the LFO twice as fast for this drop on eighth notes. I could have just automated the rate on this track, but sometimes I find it easier to make a whole new track. That way you can just process it a little bit differently. Tip number two is a simple one. Automate your activator button to go off and on. For this section, I wanted to create more space for the guitars, so it was really quick and effective to automate that button. Downside of this technique is that you can no, no longer solo this track. When you solo this track, you're not going to hear that effect. So you also could automate the utility. This way is just even quicker to do when you're feeling creative, so that's why I do it that way most of the time. Tip number three is to play your chords in. After you're done, duplicate the track, delete the bass notes, you're left with a monophonic line. And then from there, you might even want to change the shape of this monophonic line. Notice that this, this monophonic line is going up while the chord one was going down. Let's hear that. And when you combine it. So now I have some contrary motion going on, which is pretty effective. I usually will tweak the sound of this patch too. Notice I have more effects on this one, and a little bit of vibrato. Tip number four is use parallel distortion. Here I've got a sample of an 808 that I put in a sampler and tuned to C. Let's hear it without the parallel distortion. So an easy way to add some bass harmonics is to send it to a return track. On here I've got Camel Crusher. I usually cut out the lows. On this one I really didn't even cut that many of the lows out. I tend to sidechain this to the kick drum, and I also have some sidechain on that. And that's just a really quick way to add some bass harmonics. Tip number five is add vibrato to your leads. Here's a monophonic line. I want to add a little bit of tension, so I'm creating an LFO that's going as fast as possible, not BPM synced. That's going to modulate the master tune ever so slightly, so watch this thing move a little bit. Something I didn't know for a while is that uh, over here in Serum, you can click this triangle and create vibrato this quickly and that makes it even easier to do so. Alright, that's it for today, thanks for watching. Check out the song if you'd like to. Hit subscribe on YouTube. And if you want more tutorials, follow me on Instagram. Peace out, y'all.